Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. So, my apologies for doing a car video, but sometimes it's the easiest time of day to make a video. So, I know I said I wasn't going to make another video on Chantal, but there is a new player, new character that was unlocked in Chantopolis, and that is Ala Shabib. So, how he came about was he came in saying, Give me a thousand subscribers and I'll release all the tea on Salah and Chantal. While well, people were thinking he was joshing, that he was full of BS, and he came out with a video of him and the guys. I guess it was last, not this past New Year's, but New Year's before, where him and the guys were having. I think it was a New Year's Eve party and they were, I guess, smoking the shisha and just having a, you know, a good old time, dancing, listening to music. And, you know, Salah looked really, really happy. Like, you could see that he was happy hanging out with his boys and just having a good old time. You know, he looked really, like, he was having a good old time. Whoever saying that was a sausage fest trying to imply that, you know, He's gay. I don't believe that. He was just having a you know a good time because in that culture, the men hang out with the men and the women hang out with the women. So Chantal then proceeds to come out with doxing Allah's wife and calling her Sharmuda, which in Arabic means whore. Which, and then she proceeds to show her hatred against women and talk vilely against her and him and saying that he's a pig and calling him fatter than her. Uh, Ma'am, you must be so used to looking at your own filter so much that like you must think you're a skinny legend. You know, I'm not here to fat shame you, but you know, you know, and even Salah coming out saying that he he's the fattest person that he's ever seen. You know, you've convinced yourself through the filters that you are so used to looking at. And he's so still, you're still selling him this dream that he's going to Canada. And Allah has confirmed that somebody, again, has gone IRL. And y'all need to stop doing that. Has given his name to immigration. He ain't going to Canada. That she is not as fat as him. And there was a picture. There's a picture on the Twitters on them both on the dune buggy or what, whatever they're, they're called. And you can see side by side comparison of who, you know. You know, a size by size comparison. Now, I'm not here to, you know, to judge who's fatter or who's smaller, but Chantal wanted to talk about who's the fatter person. Chantal, stop it. Stop. Just because you're fat, you know, you can, you know, you can discredit someone without bringing their weight into, into the picture or how they look. That's the first thing that you always like to do is talk about how they look and their weight. And you just just you just hate women. I'm convinced about that because she had nothing to do with it. Oh, because she was tired and Murad's wife was tired of cleaning up after you and Allah's wife went on her private Facebook page. Yeah, it was public, but nobody knew about it until you brought her up. And they found a, a, a Facebook post about how she was tired of cleaning after you and being a maid. And she called you fat and lazy. Nobody knew that Facebook page existed until you brought her up on your, on your rant and rage. So, of course, people found it. And when she caught wind of people finding it, she deleted it. It was she... I'm sure she was just friends with family and friends, like on her Facebook. I mean, and put a pin on that, what I just said about her private, her private, but it was, you know how you have certain features on your Facebook where 
yeah, you can, people can see your post, but she's only, face, she's, fa she's friends with just family and friends that she knows in real life. So, Chantal deleted this rage, but she doxed. She put her picture, uh, Lana's wife's picture, on the thumbnail first before she changed it to just words. <laughs> Excuse me. My nose is red from the drastic change of weather. It's terrible. And my sinuses are going crazy. It was like in the 20s and Christmas time. Now it's in the 60s and almost 70s today. And this whole week. Uh, and, you know, she's, she's calling her uh, basically a whore and a skank in this video. And they have four black men living in the house and basically that you know they're running train on this woman and and the husband's all about it what happens in someone's house is nobody's business it's nobody's business just like you used to have story times about how you wish you were done by a whole soccer team Chantal. that is nobody's business nobody's business but you love to put other people's business out there nobody's business anyway So you made this rage stream and, 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 and then Salah wants to put on the stream, which in the first one when you're raging, he's conveniently not there because he's never there when you rage, which further solidifies that y'all don't live together because you're in a, 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 a Dean marriage, which is like a fake marriage that said you can shack up together and you do your business. And again, allegedly my conspiracy, I don't think he's touching you. He just, you know, feeding you and, and, and telling you what you want to hear so you can give him this papers that you're never going to give him so he can get to Canada but and, and you, you, you're selling each other pipe dreams essentially in my opinion allegedly whatever so you know you said oh he came for Salah's wife so I'm coming for his wife but he's the one coming for you so Anyway, shouldn't he be there? But he came in there for the second stream. Anyway, so you know, you you came with your whole chest, but then you changed the the thumbnail from her because you doxed her first. But when someone took a picture that looks like you were looking at the where was taking the picture, but then you said, "Oh, I didn't authorize. We didn't authorize the picture." That was when Salah was in the second live stream. But then it's okay for you to use her picture when she didn't authorize it? Who for thought, huh? So, they can't do it, but you can. But because it's deleted, it never happened. Just putting that out there for anyone that wants to call this video biased. Just putting it out there. Because it's deleted, it's okay. Allah, you know, you may, whether you want to call him a clout chaser or not, he put out some valid points. Foodie Beauty was with Nader two weeks before she came to Kuwait. He, Allah didn't care. He confirmed that they're not really married. They're in a Boudin marriage. And if I'm butchering that word, my, my apologies. They're not really married. She's made two transfers of, of money. It's, it's It was posted in Kiwi Farms and in, on Twitter. Uh, one amount was 3,500 and one was 45, but then it's not really confirmed the amounts, but the one was 1,500 and the second amount was 1,500. So it's, it's not, I haven't, I've seen those two different amounts, so I can't say for certain which one it is. The reason why their friendship fell apart was because of money. Allah lent him money or, but the, the fact of the matter is Allah owed him money. That, if those receipts that Salah came with are invalid receipts. That WhatsApp message was a private message. That's, you keep calling that, oh, that's illegal? No, that was a private message. Now, if Allah would've came 
on YouTube and said that, oh yeah, that's illegal. But that was a private message. And conveniently, Salah and translated that incorrectly. So the wonderful Mo translates, go please look at her video. She translated that correctly. She called Shantal, uh, your Sharmuta, because you're not really married. You're not married. And the reason why he was enraged was because when y'all went camping and y'all brought next to nothing, y'all brought two liter coke, some cookies, and a couple things of water in the desert. When y'all went camping in the desert, y'all got up before everybody else and took all the water. And there was women and children in the desert. Chantal conveniently got a headache and a migraine so she didn't have to help. Of course, she ate but didn't help to prepare the food. She didn't help like she liked to, liked to say. And they took all the water. They left them no water and there were children out there in the desert. Of course he was livid. I will be livid too. And mind you, these were two best friends. Two best friends. And you get up and you leave nobody water? Nobody water. Nobody. And another thing um, that he pointed out, yes, he asked, he told Salah, hey, you know, Chantal can take a shower in my house. That's when they had the smaller apartment before they moved into the bigger one because Chantal couldn't really fit in the door of the smaller apartment. And he's like, you know, I'll wait outside with you while she goes in my house and showers. And yes, I think the most negative things that he said was that she smells, that she can't really move because of her size. Which Chantal kind of says that, you know, she said herself she can't really move. And she even says that her vagina smells like fish. She said that herself in her Cuba rage. She's, even before then, Pizza said himself, Chantal smells like blue cheese. Allah also said that his wife himself has helped her wipe down there because she can't bend over. Bend over. He also stated that Murad and his wife were tired of being her slaves when she comes over or when they go camping. So I can understand the frustration. But he was never truly negative. Is he trying to get views? Possibly. Now, I don't agree with him linking up with Nader. Nader is a toxic individual. He's a dangerous individual. He should not be linking up. Now, did Nader speak some a couple of truths? Um, yeah, but I would not link up with Nader. Nader, stay away from Nader. Please, Mr. Shabib, stay away from Nader. Nader, bad news. Very, very bad news. Very bad news. And also that perfume business, that perfume business has, it has been confirmed that it's only linked up to his best friend, Murad. It's not linked to Salah, it's only linked to Murad. So, and also Salah has stated that, um, Stated that um, Chantal, uh, that Salah ain't working. That he used to have a job with him, and he was making more than other associates in the business. But then he left it due to Chantal coming and saying, you know, you can make money on YouTube. So those are the things that I've gathered so far from the lives that Mr. La has made. More forthcoming if he puts out more tidbits. But yeah. Chantal, be careful. This may not end well for you. You need to stop with your shenanigans. But anyway, everybody have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care of your mental health. Bye, y'all.